Hello everyone, I want a video today. In this video what I thought I'd do is talk a bit about this reproduction Fairbairn Sykes fighting off I've got. Now I have tried doing this video a couple of times before but I've never really been happy with how the videos come out and this is one of my favourite pieces in my collection so I really want to do a video that I'm sort of like happy with and I think does the knife justice. So I bought this knife off Sheffield Knives for around about £50. So the knife comes in this nice genuine leather sheath. It's a traditional looking sheath as well, made to like traditional methods. You have a metal tip at this end. There's a piece of elastic here that helps hold the knife in place. And you have all like, these little um, tabs and stuff here, you know, for different sort of, um, you know, to attach it to your clothing and stuff like that. Good quality stitching. So overall, a really well-made sheath. The knife does rattle and move around quite a bit, but I'm not sure if like, the originals were like that as well, but that piece of elastic there definitely does help hold the knife in. So there's a look at the sheath. So here's a better look at the actual knife. As you can see, a really nice looking knife. The blade is made from carbon steel and the blade length is seven inches and the overall length is 11.5 inches. Another thing to point out is I went for the black blade option. You can get a polished finish if you would rather that. Like. If you thought about buying one of these knives, you might have seen that there's quite a lot of mixed reviews. Now, the majority of these sort of um, negative reviews, in my opinion, are pretty unfair. The only purpose this knife had was to kill, and that's it. You know, real sharp point. And you do get a really nice grip with this handle. You can see there, there's a nut on this end. And if you undone that, you would be able to slide the handle off, slide the guard off, and just be left with the blade. So that's good for cleaning and stuff like that. Or if a certain part broke, you can replace the necessary part without having to replace the whole knife. So that's a good design. I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up, but you can see the maker's marks on the underside of the guard there. Going back to them negative reviews I was on about earlier, a lot of them were saying how the edges were dull, but that's how the originals were as well. It wasn't meant for slashing this weapon, it was meant for stabbing. But the edges are nowhere near as dull as these reviews would have you believe. To try and demonstrate that, I've got some paracord. And I'll just grab that now and I'll show you that the edges aren't that dull. So here's some 550 paracord. Try and make sure I get this on camera. So you see what I mean? The edges aren't like a butter knife edge. They're not razor sharp, granted, but they're definitely not dull. From what I've read and watched videos on, there was quite a few methods of using this knife or dagger. One of them being, you would hold it like this, and rather than sort of um, stabbing, you would grab your opponent and pull them onto the blade. That seemed to be quite a popular technique. Another thing I read as well is that if you were attacking a sentry or something like that, what you would do is come up behind the sentry and rather than slit in the throat, you would stab this into the neck and then punch forward and that way it would like tear the whole throat out. And you can imagine how brutal and effective that would be. So that was my review on this reproduction Fairbairn Sykes fighter knife made by Sheffield Knives. 
If you're after a reproduction Fairbairn Sykes, I would highly recommend this one. Ignore them negative reviews in my opinion. It's really high quality, real solid, nothing's loose, you know. And they make a really good part in your collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Cheers for watching.